Who has two thumbs and really hated missing out on this lottery pickup? This guy. That's terrible. That is it. so awful. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to uh, be reviewing Four Roses LE 2023. Yeah, so we, obviously, we did not hit in the lottery, either the Bell Moments or just the standard Four Roses lottery. Uh, they have not dropped in our air yet, but we were lucky enough. Uh, every year, Four Roses, they, or not every year, but I guess last couple of years, yeah. they do a sample where you do an online like tasting with Brent. And my buddy Scott, he got one, so thank you to Scott. Also, if you guys wouldn't mind, go follow him over on TikTok at 812 Bourbon. Uh, that would kind of re help repay him and... He doesn't know I'm saying this or whatever, but it would help us out, make make me feel good if you went and followed him. And while you're on TikTok, <clears throat> just go ahead, before you go to TikTok, just hit the like, subscribe, turn on the notifications. That helps us out. That'd also be a big help. Yep. Uh, but anyway, so we were lucky enough that uh, he let us borrow a sample because I, from what everybody's saying this year's Four Rose LE is a monster of a bottle. So... Anyways, get into the uh, finer details of it. So this is a four. This is a four bourbon blend. It is twelve year old OESV, which is thirty five percent of the makeup. Fourteen year old OESQ, which is like forty percent of the makeup. Sixteen year old OESV, which is like twenty percent, and then a twenty five year old OBSV which is 5%. Just a dash of 25 Just here. a dash. They just wanted to put that that they age did. statement in there. Hey, listen, if you got it and you want to throw it in something, you might as well. I agree. Uh, crazy that they would have something that old, too. Yeah. Anyways, uh, this comes in at 108 proof, and it is coming in also at a whopping $200 a bottle. They tend to be worth it, though. They tend to be worth it. They do tend to be worth it. I think it's more than last year. I think last year. Wasn't it like 180 or something like that? I don't feel like I spent that much last year. I feel like it was around 170 or 180. I thought I spent around like 160. Yeah. I was lucky. One of the few times I've won a lottery ever. I've never won a lottery. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't leave that one alone. I feel like Total Wine knows that I won Shut that one. Up. Yeah. And, and so. You don't Ever, you should never be allowed to win ever again. And so I've not even been able to play the last two times. Because so. <laughs> they're not worth the winning yeah, for you. I guess. Mm. Oh, man, this nose is incredible. There goes your phone. Yeah, it, it really is. It's creamy. <clears throat> it's big. It's bold. Yeah. Has a lot of, to me, a, like a berry note in there. Has really awesome, like, baking spice, cinnamon spice. There's a little bit of fruit on there. Yep. Has awesome, like a really, like, fresh, like, like if you could bake a graham cracker, like, coming right out of the oven, that's what that smell would be like. I could see that. A little honey, I think. That's just, oof. I think slaps. Yeah, yeah. it's so it definitely, good. It definitely that knows knows really well. Yeah, it knows powerful. really well. I like it. Man. <laughs> that is so good. That oakiness is really nice in there. Um, I don't get a ton of oak. No, a little bit, but it's like a. It's just like at the twinge, right before the finish, it get it kind of hits a little bit of oakiness right there at that yeah. end. It's not it's not real prevalent, but I, I can I can taste it in there. On the palate, it's rich. It's fruity. It's just it it coats so well. It really does. On the front and the back of your palate. There's a really nice ginger note to it as well. This is like the most souped up, like best version of Four Roses I've had in a really long time. 
A lot of people have been comparing this to, that I've talked to, have been comparing this to the 2019 Four Roses, and that is a amazing, one of my all-time favorite oh, yeah, that Four one. Roses. Ooh, that one was good. And I think in a way this is very comparable to it, not necessarily in the profile from <clears throat> what I remember, Yeah, but like in the quality and how good it is. Like this thing is, man... I like the finish. I don't think it's like a super long finish, but it's a good finish. I get a little bit of like, I don't know if citrus is the right word. No, I, I, are you talking about on the finish? Yeah. I think there's a little bit of citrus note yeah. on there. Like right at the end. It's like, there's like a little bit of like an orange lime kind of like note there. Yeah. It's a little bit more, it would be like more of like nasty, I guess, kind of fruit. But yeah, no, that is, that's awesome. Like it's, it's just it it's hard to describe just how like sweet it is with that fruit yeah. and that honey that mixes in on your palate because that spice is right there in the beginning yeah where you think it's going to come off so much more spicy than what it does and it just that spice mellows out into like a fruit bomb do you think it's going to be any different out of the actual production bottle or you think it'll be really close to this no i, I think no, I think it'd be close to that. Yeah, I'm just curious. Like, I just like. No, I, mean, I think like, they. I think they all come from the vat. Yeah, and then it just gets. They just put in it in yeah. it's it's just, it's I'm just, always just curious, like, if there's any twinge of difference in. The, I mean, the only thing that you could say. So we open this up. It's been open for a little bit now. So you could say, well, maybe the air is affected that more. Yeah. You know, depending yeah, if that's not maybe. good, but you know, because I was just court, curious, like, okay, but but I'm guessing not. Yeah. So all in all, like, I mean, I feel like this is a. If you can get this. Every year you should get it. Well, I'm really hoping because you know you've seen some of the early prices on the secondary where they're wanting like six six fifty. So I'm really hoping those go down because mm -hmm. I would like a bottle or yeah. two of this. I'm I'm hoping maybe a store comes through. Well, there was only one store in our area that put these out last year that I can recall. Yeah. So that would have been Liquor Barn, Four Roses, the well the LEs were for Total Wine. Went to the lottery, and I think Cox has just kept everything for the bar. Yeah. Now the other smaller stores will have them, but yeah, we don't but know about yeah, those. Yeah, so. we don't. So, anyway, I think it's definitely worth a try if you find it at a bar. I don't even think they're sitting out on bars yet. We haven't seen them. I haven't so seen this, it at a this bar. This is the only sample yeah. that we've seen. And yeah. also, as great as what this is, uh, I will just throw this out here now. We have to, as like a rule, and we've talked about this before for the channel. We won't throw this into the end of the year unless no, we get a bottle unless we get a bottle so because we just don't we don't count samples right like coming from sample levels like yep, these for but sure. man i can tell you right now to me right now this is top 10 easy yeah easy yeah, right sure. now top yeah. 10 for sure and we got some bottles to review and i like this just as much as arguably any of them yeah so yep excited all right, yep. tell us if you've had it. Tell us if you've uh, if you tried it or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'd love to hear uh, your all's opinion about it as well. Uh, and then until next time, we'll see you. We will see you.